Oh, so you're blind? How can you be a service dog? It's so little. So, what's your problem? Telling someone you can't be here prior to inquiring about why this dog is there is quite invasive and confrontational. They accept you, but they're annoyed. They treat you like you're an inconvenience. It's like being called a fake. We need to do better than we have in the past. Just ask, is that a service dog? I've been accommodated very well on, on all the airlines I've dealt with in Canada. Good morning, everyone. Navigator Air Flight 637 is now ready for pre-boarding. Oftentimes I'll board the aircraft before uh, a lot of folks so that when they offer to anybody with ch small children or that needs special assistance, you can board the aircraft early. I'll take them up on that offer. So oftentimes people won't even know Ben's on the plane until we get up and leave. It's usually a dog this size. They're, they're, they're moving around, they're, they're barking, they're licking, they're jumping, but well-trained service animals, they don't, they don't really act like what we as a society consider pets to act like. You know? what, what they ask for Ben is that he sits at my feet under the seats in front of me. People are often very surprised at the end of flights when they see him stand up. Same as restaurants, anywhere I am with him that he's sort of concealed. When, people, when folks see him stand up, they're, they're flabbergasted. They can't, they can't imagine that this animal was in here and they didn't know it. Sometimes the right person is standing right in front of you. You might not notice, but I know he notices you. I'm not. There's no writing on the wall Things that you say might confuse him None of that matters at all Dreams of being around her Dreams of the perfect 
shame. 